Awesome. What's going on? I'm Cliff Hill. You are tuned into Ball Alert. I am here with Miss Chloe Bailey and Miss Tina Gordon. How are you guys? We're great. Awesome. Good to hear. Now, listen, let's talk Praise This Coming to Peacock. Now, you're the writer slash director, Miss Gordon. What was the inspiration behind this film? Well, I wanted to do a competition movie. Um, I've always been a fan of like the Pitch Perfect series. And um, I thought I wanted to be in that space. Uh, this script came to me through Will Packer and it was set in the world of competitive praise teams, which I'm a person of faith that instantly got me interested. Um, I tend to like to pivot into comedy. So it was a space that I could combine my love of comedy and present high drama octane praise teams. Listen, I love it. Now we love a good film that gives us a good musical moment. And there's something about that big competition in the very end kind of reminds me of like the fighting temptations or sister act two. What can we expect musically from the film? The crazy thing is, is that, you know, Fighting Traditions was the very first thing I've ever auditioned for. And I was three and a half. It was in Atlanta, Georgia. And, you know, playing little Lily, who was the younger version of Beyonce's character in that film. It's crazy to see how the universe ties everything together. So that's crazy. And, you know, we got to shoot this in Atlanta. And I was so happy that I feel like this film is like our generation's version of that and our generation's version of Sister Act and, and things of that nature. And, you know, I love Pitch Perfect. I love Glee. I love things of that sort. But you never really see things centered around, you know, our community and having such a diverse group. And I was happy that we were able to do that and shine a positive, you know, flawed, fun, raw version inside of that. No, absolutely. And just watching the trailer, it gave me all those vibes, those kind of classic moments. I'm super excited to watch. Now, another thing that I saw from the trailer was that the cast is very star-studded. What was casting like? How'd you guys decide who was going to be in? I saw Drewski and Quavo, even Sean <laughs> Banker, the choreographer. I'm like, it's so many people. Yeah, oh, yeah, you saw Bankhead. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little Easter egg for people who knew Bankhead. He's usually behind the scenes as a, the choreographer. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we love him. Um, I, ha I he was my choreographer a little as well. But the idea for the casting started, of course, with Chloe. That was my first choice, and I loved how I loved Chloe. Just uh, her position in the culture, her amazing voice, which there was so many vocal demands in the movie, and in in her vulnerability and sort of emotional intelligence. I I was hoping, please, this this will be my Sam, and it was. And from there, the building the cast had a lot to do with finding uh, people in her generation in the gospel space. So that's where we have Corinne Hawthorne, found Jacqueline Carr, which was a great find as well. And then surrounding her with comedians and uh, that's where you get like a Drewski or a Country Wayne. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so. What I, love, what I love about Tina is that she's so hip and she's so in the know and in the culture. And I just loved how I was able to truly collaborate with her. Like, you know, first it started with me and as she was forming and building this incredible cast, she would always be like, what do you think about this person? What do you think about that person? And I remember for a minute, we were looking for the, for the mm -hmm. special tie. And I was so happy that it was Quavo. He texted me, he's like, I'm gonna be in the movie. I said, what? So that was really cool. And another, call back to why God's timing and plan is everything is because we were filming not before filming we were in boot camp in Atlanta and you know oil factory they it was an, another set of people and I remember we were looking for the perfect Aaron and I was like we were in the studio recording Tina and I was like Tina Drewski's Aaron Drewski's Aaron and she's like okay and she set up the meeting immediately with Drew and three days before we started filming he was casted and he was the perfect Aaron and I'm just so happy, I'm so happy. I just know you guys cheeks were hurting the, the entire time he's super hilarious yes we not one day went by without us laughing. He was amazing, Quavo was amazing, Angelica who plays my sister cousin was amazing, you know, and especially with gospel 
singers who I have personally been such mm -hmm. a huge fan of because that's my outlet, like listening to gospel music in the morning and singing my heart out. No, Ren Hawthorne, Kaylin Carr, so many incredible artists a part of this and I couldn't be happier. We couldn't Speaking have of, just uh, Hollywood represent the gospel side. We had to have like real gospel. I was going to say, speaking of a gospel, now I put this song from my gospel playlist. It's a movie with surrounded around gospel music. And I want to do just a really quick finish the lyric moment. And you guys should just come in and, and see if you can finish the lyrics. I think it's very easy oh, part of the song. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see what you guys got. Okay. Ready? Uh oh. Chloe, I'm counting on you. Take me to the king. I don't much to bring. My heart is torn to pieces. He is my offering. Lay me at the throne. Yeah. Leave me there alone. Mm -hmm. To hang the palm of glory. A classic. Sing you this song. <laughs> listen, I am a gospel fiend, so this is the this is a fun game. Yes, that's listen, channel, right? channel that's what I'm that's what I'm so excited about, and I can't wait to the film come out. I'm super excited for you guys. Congrats <laughs> already ahead of time. Can't wait to watch on Peacock. <laughs> and you guys, thanks for having me. I hope you guys have a Thank wonderful you. day today. Thank you. That was so fun. That was my favorite <laughs> interview today. <laughs>